I'm gonna program the monitor with you as always. If you guys wanna join me, you are more than welcome to. And if you are following this in post, I appreciate you. And uh, I just wanna say a huge thank you to all of you for getting us to 100,000. 500,000 next. I never thought we'd reach 100,000, so why not shoot for the moon? Let's go on 500,000 next. I think we can do it in maybe a year or two. We'll see, if you guys help, maybe we can get there in a year. That'd be pretty amazing. So setting up the monitor from the main menu, we're going to select workout, that's the B button, new workout, D button, single time, B button, oh, hey, left arrow, D button, I very rarely say that. Uh, plus button, that's the B button once, that gives me an hour. Now the right arrow, A, that takes me back to the three and I bump that up to, I hit the B button once, that takes me up to an hour and 40. 60 plus 40, that's 100 minutes. All right, uh, split length, I don't know, 20 minutes. <laughs> Jeez, I hope you guys uh, love this. That, that looks like it'll work. Okay, I've got my timer going. So again, every 28 minutes, I need to stop to stop my camera. So I guess that's like planned rest breaks in here. Uh, grabbing my handle. I'm in no rush, people. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! And uh, I can see your comments, by the way, because of my iPad. So feel free to chat. Um, Godspeed, my friend. Oh, now he's on his epic gardening. Switched over from epic homesteading. Um, the real, the real, real Kevin. All right, so here we go, guys. I'm gonna ease into this. There's my two minute, there we go. Um, iPad's shaky, but here we go. Buena suerte, thank you, I appreciate that. Congrats. You've been a massive motivation to get me fit and lose weight, good luck. Thank you. I'm in it now, everybody. I am already happy that I have my butt pad. It was a great choice, again. So Hornet Water Sports, if you're looking for seat pads, they, they're really super effective, super comfy. This is the thickest pad they make. Definitely chose that for today. Um, uh, love your work, mate. Thanks, Chuck, dude. Um, the seat cover, the green one, does not actually offer any cushion. I just don't want anybody to think they're getting cushion. It just makes your machine look cool. By the way, I did not warm up for this. That was probably a mistake. But here we go anyways. Uh, I didn't train for this. <laughs> I didn't plan for this. Um, that's kind of the beauty of it. I also didn't think we were gonna hit 100K until closer to New Year's, so y'all surprised me. What a great early Christmas, New Year's. Um, I also have a new baby coming due December 28th. I think he's gonna come early. It is a boy. I think he's gonna come early. So this is also like an early baby shower gift to me. Thank you, everybody. Bruno, my machine is different. That's okay, you can still join me. I'm leading for you. Congrats on her K from the UK. Thanks, Tim Lee. Greetings from Helgeland, Germany. Thanks, F3 man, Macker. Uh, Get your body over earlier. Thanks, Beecher Ross. Appreciate that. <sighs> Love my concept too. Nice, just joined in. Right after a good 35 minute row. Well, hey, what better time to add an extra hour and 40 minutes to that? Damn, so expensive. Concept two grease, yeah. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do on the cost of Concept 2 is elsewhere. Congrats on the upcoming edition. Thank you, Lauren, I appreciate that. That'll be number two. So we'll have one boy, one girl. Definitely not planning on more after that. So, um, where'd you get the iPad mount? Uh, Amazon, I think. I should link to it in the description. Um, Portugal, thanks Bruno, greetings. From Atlanta, MP, thank you, congratulations. I have two baby girls coming soon, but hopefully not too soon. <laughs> yeah, Chris, uh, we're actually excited for number two to come. My wife's doing all right, but she's struggling with this one. Um, so, we're excited for baby to come because it'll mean she'll have like a little bit of her freedom back. Need to shorten up my stroke. I'm getting pretty reachy. That's not good for early on 
Um, catch up with comments. Eric Lou, color coordination automatically takes five seconds off your splits. It's true, and if I would have worn my Oakleys, man, I, would, I probably could have pulled a 150 for this whole thing. Um, stroke rating 22 right now, just in case anybody's wondering. Inspired to get me in my garage and get on the rower. John Rain. Yeah. John, it doesn't get any more real than this. This is my actual garage. <laughs> it's not like a studio garage. Over there's my wood shop. Back there's my laundry room. And you guys see everything that's on this side. Sebi 273. You know any iPad holder for the Model E? Um, I don't. That, that really thick arm is going to pose a challenge for sure. So I don't know about that. Uh, yes, put a link in. MP, I, I will. If I remember it, after 100 minutes of rowing, you guys got it. I'll link this iPad holder down there. Woo. Um, following you from Australia. Dead set legend. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate that. I know that legend phrase doesn't get tossed around easily with Australians. Man, it's amazing how knowing that I have an hour 40 in front of me, my body just does not want to push early. Probably smart. Ryan Estrada, love the setup with the tablet and cell holder. That's what I want. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a cheap setup. I think the iPad holder was like 25 bucks. The Vapor Fitness phone mount, it's like $14.99, something like that. So, you know. And yeah, this is new. I've never actually set it on the machine before, so. It's funny, my body is just like locked in at a 201 right now. Greetings from Stockton. Ryan, I almost went to Stockton for school, almost. Got into USD though and came to San Diego. Need to get a seat pad. Beach or Russ. Yeah, check it out. Um, again, Vapor Fitness is just like the seat cover, but the pad is Hornet Water Sports. I'm a, in case you guys don't know, um, Vapor Fitness and Hornet are the same guy and it's just a single dude. Um, who does his own stuff, so uh, definitely support him. That's, that's, that's kind of why I love what he does. It's, it's just a guy who saw a need and started making something to fill that need. Seat pads and phone holders. Pretty simple. Um, your rowing workouts are great. Keep up the good work. Thanks, MP. Appreciate that. Matthias Buck, congrats from Germany. Today's November workout sucked. <laughs> so I've been hearing. Grats on the 100K. Channel has helped me feel fitter and 18 pounds lighter. That's amazing. I wonder what the collective weight lost from people using our channel is. That's pretty amazing. Thanks for everything. Keep it up. Your videos, videos have been instrumental. Y'all are amazing. You guys are instrumental in me actually doing it. I just hope you know that. If you guys didn't respond the way you do, I would not have kept up with this the way that I have. It makes a big difference, you guys. Chris, oh, sorry. My, you had me at wood shop. <laughs> yeah, I love woodworking. It's one of my hobbies, along with gardening. So those two together. I keep myself busy on the weekends, making sure there's never a shortage of projects. Palo Alto, California, keep it up. Thank you, David. Love Palo Alto. Lots of friends in the area. Um, Ahmad, thanks Shane for creating Dark Horse from Singapore. Ah, oh, love the global. Love that we're everywhere with you guys. Everywhere where you need to be. What slogan is that? Who is that? I forget. Um, is it true that Concept 2 doesn't on sale, meaning like they don't have sales? Um, that is true. Price is basically fixed all the time. 
Um, there is, there's no, they don't ever put their machines on sale. So you're buying, their price is always the same. Have the same phone mount on my C2 and love it. Yep. Movo's uh, go. Ruben, this 100K is worth sponsorship. Here's a little extra motivation. Ruben, thank you. I appreciate the uh, the payment for the donation. Or let's do what, a donation? Yeah, how about that? I'll find a worthy cost. Whatever you guys decide to give today, I'll take that total and I'll find a worthy place to donate it. Maybe like community rowing. Or uh, I do know that a most beautiful thing. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, so a most beautiful thing, really great um, book and now movie. Um, oh, that'd be super cool. Okay, if you guys give during today's live, whatever money you give, I will donate to whatever a most beautiful thing's cause is. Um, that would be awesome. So far, five pounds going their way. Five pounds. Hi from Pet Thailand. Hello. Christopher Kelly, I have it in black. Yep, it comes in black, red, green. The phone mount that is in the seat cover. Doug. Greetings from Oslo, Norway. No, whoops. A bit late here for 100K row. 100 minute row, just wanna clarify. 100,000 subscribers, 100 minute row. Uh, Making my target for my Sunday row. Bendik, uh, greetings from Oslo, Norway. Congrats on 100K. Do you aim for a specific pace? Now, for the whole 100 minutes, or are you kind of winging it? I'm kind of winging it, but two minutes sounds like a nice pace. I'm the Christian Ronaldo of the oars. <laughs> Appreciate that, Bruno. Just joined this channel, love it, thank you so much. You are so welcome, Jane. JL Martinez, hello from Texas. Thank you for the videos, you're very welcome, JL. Uh, Vin Fam, congrats on the milestone. Much love from Australia, right back at you. Several Australians here today, love it. Um, got another donation, Chris, Sir Kelly, I hope I'm saying that right. Extra motivation for the numb but you are enjoying it for our enjoyment. <laughs> Thank you, and again, whatever you guys give today, I will take that, I will turn it right around and uh, find uh, a most beautiful thing I'll dedicate to whatever their cause is. It'd be awesome for it to go to somebody. Good, because you guys got me to 100K on here. So, Dan, donation in honor of your 100K success. Dan, thank you so much. Dan, member of the method, just incredible human being. Everybody say hey to Dan, and big thank you. Dan, appreciate that. I'm excited, this will be fun. This is becoming a, a fundraising row. That wasn't the intent, but you know what? That's way better than just celebrating 100,000 subscribers. Wonderful inspiration. Thank you for your bids. Thank you, Linda. Jason Burns. I think I'm responsible for this live row idea. <laughs> you, may, you may very well be, Jason. Cordy. Hello everyone from Kazakhstan. Uh, that's amazing. Kazakhstan in the house. Appreciate it, bought my concept too. Oh, got my water, water roar club. Lightly used to be a Craigslist. Craigslist, the best. Bought my concept too off eBay for 864, brand new, in the box, but before COVID. You have to wait until this is over. A lot on sale at little prices. I promise you Concept 2 will never go on sale. Congrats and good luck. Love your videos. Thank you, ZG. Lauren, I think it's impressive that you wear your ring while rowing. Well, it's a silicone ring, so it's actually very comfy. Um, many of you don't know this, but I degloved my ring finger. For those of you that don't know what that is, look it up. Um, like two years into my marriage, a year into my marriage, on my birthday, almost lost my ring finger because my gold ring got caught on a fence and uh, basically peeled my finger like a banana. Not a fun experience. So silicone ring it is, but I can wear it everywhere. So 
Pete Swanson, thanks for what you do. Your basic rowing videos are a great intro to rowing and technique. Cheers from Oakland. Cheers from Oakland. Love the Bay Area. Uh, I forget who it was that said that they were from Oslo, but I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate Norway. If I had to pick somewhere else to live, it would 100% be Oslo or surrounding areas. Guys, just a reminder, if you give, I forget what YouTube calls the function where you can give money. Um, if you give, all the money that you guys put forward during this is going to go to the most beautiful thing. The, uh, the documentary and book, um, the first, I think it was fully African-American club, rowing club in the country for high schoolers guys got together makes for an amazing documentary and book so I will donate whatever you guys give today to that because my reward for this is the fact that y'all pushed me over a hundred thousand subscribers today what an honor I am seriously blown away um, big shout out from the Sunderland massive in England smash it mate thank you you ever done a piece with the monitor down? Plenty of times. Absolutely, Sean. I think it's a great way of rowing. Uh, why did you not wait until November 6th to join the Concept 2 Holiday Challenge? <laughs> it's in the, it's uh, the Pocock, most beautiful thing. Inclusion fund for your donation. Not wait, well, I didn't wait because, <laughs> I mean, I can donate it later, I suppose, but uh, this is in celebration because today we crossed 100,000 subscribers. So this is impromptu. I had no plan of this, for those of you wondering. I didn't even know 100 minutes was what I was gonna do. Roger Pierce, hi from Auckland, New Zealand. Taking my son to a regatta this weekend, yes! But I stick to your vids and the concept too. Well done, thanks Roger. Roger, that's amazing. I wish we had more regattas that we could all take our families to. They're fun events. My wife, my wife is leaving. Yeah, great rowing streams. Hey Pally, what's going on? Woo. William, dude, hi, would you be in favor of a 34K row on my 34th birthday for me? I mean, I can, you can do it too if you want. I mean, if you want to do a 34K row on your birthday, I'm slated for, a 24K row today, that's uh, 10,000 more than what I'm doing. You are more than welcome, my friend. I will probably not participate. Sean Rashidi, it's called a super chat. There we go. So for anybody that donates via super chat, thanks for that, Sean. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> I don't work for the super chats. It's not exactly my, my push here. Um, bonjour de France. Bonjour. Happy to see France here. Bendik. Am I saying that right, Bendik? For the Oslo comment. Ah, uh, I appreciate that. Most beautiful thing. There's the ones that'll appreciate it even more. That's awesome. Uh, by the way, I've coached many times in Oslo. Um, and it, I have friends that live there. And it is just hands down, I think my favorite city in the world. Um, it's called, a, oh yeah, I saw that. Whew. Barry, hi from England. Just wanted to say thanks for all the videos. The beginner's tutorials have really been a huge help. I'm looking to join your program soon. Keep smashing it, Barry. I hope we do get to see you in the crew. Honestly, guys, it's, I put so much into building a strong crew for you guys for $19 a month. I always want to over deliver there, so. I'd be curious to hear how many of your crew members drop your comments, drop your thoughts on the crew. That'd be super cool. Amazing November program. Thanks, Ludovic. We had over, there are over 5,000 of you that signed up for November. How amazing is that? Seriously, how cool. 5,000 people are committing to try and row every day for the month of November. What's my age from Bruno? I'm 35. Uh, 
Polly, a little bit late to be joining in. Totally understood. Uh, Sebi, finger is totally good now. Yeah, three years later. It's fully functional. I didn't lose it. It's good to go. Uh, how many meters am I at right now? Uh, 47.50. There we go. 4,750. Almost 20 minutes down. Hi from Panama. Axel, what's going on? Appreciate the Panama joining. Hello from Germany. What's going on, Talal? Vladimir, wait a minute. Is Pete Swanson from Yellow Swans in here? Congrats on 100K, by the way, thank you. Congratulations from John. Congrats from Jacob, Banach, Sophie. Oh my God, I remember when I used to be on a crew team when I was in high school, but I honestly miss doing it. But I don't really know where to look if I ever wanted to join a teenager's team or something. Depends on where you are, Sophie, but just Google learn to row program or boathouse and find something close by you or join us in the crew. We are literally the largest online rowing group in the world, unless you count the logbook. But we are a direct community, so um, there's a lot of value to be had there. The crew is awesome and the 5K plan right now. Love it, Andy. How's it going? How far into it are you, Andy? Curious. Robert, hello from Canada. Hello. Justy, congrats. And thanks for all you do. Finally was able to order my Model D with PM5 after seven months of waiting. Wow. Can't wait for it to get here. Congrats on the order. It's a big day. What's my 5K time? Paleo. I just hit a recent PR, but I honestly forget. Um, can Erg Data app be used with Concept2 Biker? It absolutely can. It goes between biker, skier, and rower. The beautiful part about it is it just connects to the PM5 regardless of the machine. So, average meters per stroke right now? Uh, I don't have Erg Data up because my phone's being used for the live stream, so I couldn't tell you that. But I'm at a two minute point three average pace. I'm about to get off for my first rest because I got to stop the camera and restart it so it doesn't overheat. Yeah. In week six, oh Andy, you're in the thick of it right now. Are you getting excited about the retest? Francesca, Francesca. Hi from Algeria. It's amazing, managed to nab myself a concept too. They're hard to find in North Africa. And it's been keeping me sane in COVID lockdown. Where's my tablet mount from? Amazon, keep up the great work. Thanks, Francesca, Francesca. It's a fun story, Francesca, about finding ergs in Africa, not North Africa, South Africa, literally the country. Um, oh, that's my timer. That's break number one. Woo. not gonna help my split, everybody. Split's not gonna be happy. Okay, back on. There we go. So, anyways, Francesca, Francesca. By the way, guys, hit that super chat, donate, give button. Anything that you guys give during this workout, I'll be donating to, I believe it's the Pocock Foundation via a most beautiful thing. So, um, donate, give, I promise exactly where I'm gonna take it. Your reward to me is helping us get to 100,000 subscribers and beyond. So, anyways, Francesca, Francesca, and that's South Africa comment. So, uh, went to South Africa on safari, and the lodge we were staying at, um, we, <laughs> of course I wanted to work out while I was there, because we were there for several days. I couldn't not work out. And so I started sweet talking the rangers, and eventually got them to let me behind the scenes of the camp where they had like their, their ranger's lounge. And uh, they had a little gym that they'd thrown together at, in that area. It was like cobbled 
with just donated equipment, it's all rusty, weights and everything. And lo and behold, there is a Model C sitting out on the balcony, exposed to the conditions every day, but they still used it. So I got in there, gave it a little maintenance, oiled the chain, tightened the bungee. But the best part was that the seat and the handle both were missing pieces because at night the hyenas would come by <laughs> and wanted to know what the thing was. And so the hyenas would sit there and chew on the seat or chew on the handle. So it was missing like the tip of the handle and the side of the seat. My favorite story about finding a rower in an odd place. Um, back to the comments, Ken. Hi from Saskatchewan, Canada. Ah, I forgot to hit my timer. Oh no, start timer. Um, congrats on 100K. Thanks, Ken. Posting the November results every day to Strava. Hopefully, the community there will grow up to enthusiasm and motivation. is really inspiring. Thanks, Ludwig. Ludwig, appreciate it. Pally faster than me, I bet. Man, who's to tell? Bathroom, but bathroom, buddy. Funny name. Could you do a shout out to John McFarlane and CrossFit Sunderland SR1? Tell him to get the kettle on. Listen, John, I need you to do something for me. First off, hello. I greatly appreciate you and everything that you do at CrossFit Sunderland, but I really, really need you to put the kettle on. Thank you. Bathroom buddy, hope that did the trick. Awesome, thanks so much. From Robert. William Livingston, is it common to be able to row a faster 10K than you can run? Um, yeah, not unheard of. They're different types of fitness, right? That's important to note. Um, erging gets you in erging shape. Running gets you in running shape. So whatever you choose to use, it's probably what you're gonna be faster at. Uh, let's see. Sophie, thank you for the info. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Andy, are very excited about his 5K on target to drop a minute in the 5K. Thanks, Coach John, and the support of the crew community. Isn't it amazing, Andy? Like, there's so much drive there from everybody. Good luck. There's more tomorrow. It's already midnight here. Bruno, appreciate you hanging out. Elsie, where did you get your seat from? So it's just the standard seat, but I have on the Vapor Fitness seat cover. It's just a seat cover. It's silicone, slides right over the top. Just makes your machine pretty. <laughs> but they've got pink, red, black, green. Pick your colors. Are you using Erg IQ app on your Phoenix? Uh, no. I, um, I honestly don't really trust my Phoenix a whole lot during workouts. It just doesn't give a very accurate heart rate. And I don't have a heart rate monitor, so I generally just don't worry about heart rate. So. Uh, Richard. Hey mate, hi from Australia. I've been loving your videos since I got a rower two months ago. Appreciate it, Richard. Guys, y'all are amazing. Get after it, coach. I'm working on it, Erica. Are you gonna join me? It's only an hour, 40 minutes straight. No big deal. But seriously, y'all are keeping me really entertained. Keep the comments and questions coming. This is giving me something to focus on. Only one like on this video so far? 115 of you were here. Nobody liked the video. Maybe it's just not apparent. Maybe they don't try and encourage you to like it. That would not be surprising. Just crossed over 7,000 meters. Oh, this is good. Erica, pass. Just finished up my clients for the day. That's exactly when you work out, Erica. 
after you're done with clients. Because now you don't have to worry about it again. You're just done for the day. Tally, one of the best things I bought recently was a Theragun for sports injuries. Do you use such kit? Um, I don't. I love foam rolling, I love massage. I love acupuncture. I love the crossballs. I just don't have a Theragun, honestly. Lots of companies keep offering to send them, but I just don't like the idea of having to put it in a video. But do I think it's a useful tool? Sure, 100%. Doug Hills, how do you get the video to cancel out the erg noise? I have a mic. Oh, you can see it right there. See that little black thing? That's my mic. So when I'm recording, it's a shotgun mic, it's directional. Whatever it's pointed at is what it records. And the flywheel's behind it, so it doesn't really pick up the flywheel. It just directionally grabs my voice. Good question. Carlos, would height affect your wattage number? Not directly. Um, you can be a very effective short rower. That's my answer to that. Uh, probably need to refresh to see the likes. Oh, yeah. MP, that does happen. William, is your drag set to four? Middle of a five. Middle of a five is where it's at. Hell yeah, highly recommend. William, and call me Bill. I feel like we're friends now. <laughs> Bill! <laughs> Bill! I appreciate you. Thank you for that. Call me Shane. Uh, David, uh, we we're probably just preoccupied by the super chat donations to like. Yeah, guys, send in those super chat donations. Remember, it's going to a most beautiful thing, which everybody, somebody mentioned, I think it's going to go directly to a Pocock Foundation in some way. Ludovic, indeed. The Phoenix Excel gives weird results. You used a heart rate monitor linked to the PM5, plus erg IQ on the Phoenix, plus erg dot on the phone to have proper stats. Yeah, that's more complicated than I'm willing to invest in. You know? Congrats from Brazil. Thanks, Franklin. Barbara Smith, really good. Found your advice and video is really useful as a newbie to rowing. Love it, guys. I appreciate all of you that have found us and have brought us to where we are. Every minute that you watch, every one of you that have subscribed, every one of, the, one of you that have shared a video, you guys are the reason that we are seeing success. You guys are what pay the bills. I know sometimes you see ads and you're like, ugh, yuck, ads. But honestly, it's how I'm able to afford to keep making videos for you. This is not cheap, I promise. Both on my time, on manpower, I don't edit the videos. I have two editors that work on them, the camera equipment, things like the mic, tripods of which there are multiple behind you right now. Uh, MP have 73. Pally, yeah, highly oh, sorry. Where well, I'm lost. Catch up here. Francesca, Francesca, thanks for the South Africa story. We'll do my best to keep mine safe from the hyenas. <laughs> Good job. I imagine you probably don't have hyenas up there. I, I, that's terrible that I know nothing, but I'm just assuming not. How's your gardening friend getting on with rowing? Uh, Good, he's actually been doing uh, Rovember. So, he's, he's hooked, I think. I think we got him, which is pretty awesome. He's loving it. We were just chatting last night, and he is staying on board with it. He was in here earlier, if you didn't see him. Mary, could someone tell me how to donate? Mary, you may have to like minimize the video. It's called Super Chat. Maybe a small button somewhere, <laughs> again. Clearly not my forte. I don't really ever ask for super chats, but whatever y'all give, I will take, turn it right around. 
give it to the most beautiful thing. Um, thank you for all the videos. You're my go-to concept to learning. Also, the twins hat lately. <laughs> I've started wearing this hat, this tan one a lot, when I row. Um, so I'm a Lululemon ambassador. And this hat, don't ask me how, is completely waterproof. It doesn't soak up water. It just wicks it and literally never shows sweat. I don't understand it. It's like a magic trick. So I wear this thing a lot instead of the twins hat. <laughs> Hope that answers your question. Dags from the earth, I'm assuming you're from Minnesota. What would you say is your on average fastest time and speed for a regular row day compared to a competition with other teams? Oh man, there are so many variabilities to discuss there. I don't even know where to start. Like, are we talking crew, an actual team? Are we talking like being on the rower? I don't even know what we're talking. Sorry, I'm catching up on comments here. Erica, fine. Joining till dinner's ready. There you go, Erica. I love it. David like him. Like him. Water roller club here. Building my home gym this year during the pandemic. David, I am a first time water rower owner. I have my ergata over here. Been testing that lately. Um, MP, how many meters are you at? 88.40. 88.40 right now. Super chat button. Lower right in live chat on mobile device at least. Thanks David, I appreciate that. Moises, best rowing coach ever. Love the energy in your channel. You made me enjoy rowing. That has become my favorite exercise. Ah, really appreciate that Moises. Thank you. Yet I had a coach, Nathan Ellison. Long time listener, not a first time caller here. Thanks Nathan. Click the currency icon on the right of the chat box where you type your chat here. You can choose your super chat option and use the slider to increase your donation amount. Hope that helps. Ah, oh, Dan, thank you. Appreciate it. Another $10, 10 pounds, sorry, donation from Ludovic. Thanks for all your energy and amazing videos. The follow along are excellent to learn stroke rhythm. Keep going and being so enthusiastic. Thanks, Ludwig. Bill Livingston, have you put any thought into how you're going to try to row while on a ship? On a ship? Bill, I don't think I understand. Did I mention a ship? Am I forgetting something? Dags from here. Yes, sir. Fan from Mini. Love it, Dax. You know I'm a Northfielder, right? Just lost our historic Archer House. Sad day. Fire in our town. Obviously big news. We're a small town. Almost done with lunch. You're rowing unteachable. I'm so much better already. Thank you. Ah, Heidi, I love hearing it. I'm continually happy with what Launch your rowing is doing for people and how easy it is to make learning the rower. Barbara, love you. Keep the technique going. Bedtime in the UK. Keep going, thanks for the love, Barbara. Appreciate it. Where can I buy the iPad? iPad holder. Don't forget to hydrate. I will on the next rest. Um, iPad holders from Amazon. I will, after this, after today, I'll try and get a link up to it. And Linda, I appreciate the push to hydrate. I'm gonna take on a little bit of nutrition with my child's fruit pack. 
Have I tested the Zebex or Zebex fitness rower? I have not. Thoughts? Here it's quite similar. I have heard the same, but I have no direct response to it. Bill, a while back, mentioned rowing while on the USS. Oh, you scar. Strange feeling rowing on a rocking ship. There we go. Thank you. Sorry for being so cryptic. <laughs> um, no, you know, I, the only thing that I could imagine that would make that easier is if you built like a rower size, um, what's that thing called? That stays balanced. Or this is how it, how everything around it moves. I feel like that would help. Hello from Phoenix. Getting ready for November 6800. Looking forward to getting my rower sometime in December. 63 years old. Hoping that you'll do some workout for us older folks. Did you catch the most recent video that I did? Luann. Definitely the senior crowd in mind. Go give that a watch if you haven't already. Jay Fu. Navy. Never again. Volunteer yourself. Nathan Ellison. I'm pretty sure you get enough of my money already, but what's a little more? Nathan, this money though isn't gonna go to me. I will make a donation on everybody's behalf based off of how much you all donate today to uh, a most beautiful thing and their chosen cause. Oh hey, just past 10K. Thank you for getting me this far, you guys. Mary Hillman. Gave 20, thank you so much, Mary. Appreciate you. That is super helpful. Thank you so much. Uh, Layman Peters, 22 is about what I'm averaging right now for stroke rate. Rowing with, but doing 6,800 for November. <laughs> Perfect, Mario. Great use of rowing along with me. Luan, yes, sure I did watching everything and working on stretching to be ready. That's perfect. I was Navy. <laughs> Jay Fu, I imagine. Can't imagine a non-Navy person saying that. I'm a, today's November was epic. Tradition. Tradition, 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 tradition. Fit on the roof, anybody? Um, Dags from Earth, Northfield. I drive through on the way to the cabin, Jesse James days. It's always fun. It absolutely is. That's like the one thing I looked forward to each year. G DJJD, defeat of Jesse James Day. Hello from Missouri. Funny that we talk about Jesse James, Jimmy, where he was killed was in Missouri. Fun fact, I was a junior curator at the Historical Society in Northfield, Minnesota and loved Jesse James history when I was in high school. Arm and Hammer. Oh man, congrats on the 100K, Shane. Love you, dude. Love you too, Armin. Everybody, if you love fitness, you love a good sense of humor and a killer mullet, make sure that you guys go check out Arm and Hammer TV. Long time friend in the fitness world. Amazing dude at putting out content. And he just manages to find himself everywhere. It's impressive. <clears throat> David, a gyroscope with navel balance. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Michael Buchanan, you sir have changed my life. If not for you, I most likely would have given up on Roy. So from the bottom of my heart, a huge thank you. Been rowing since October. And Michael, thank you to you too. Guys, it's those comments that are giving me something to work for here. Y'all are amazing. I would not do this voluntarily. Luann, I was Navy. Ludwig, midnight, 30 in France. And working tomorrow. So I wish good night, all and once again. Thanks for what you do. Thank you, Ludwig. Appreciate you. As a Marine, 
Bill Livingston. Still am. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Am I right, Bill? Started rowing during first quarantine and I'm hooked. Have a water rower. Should I upgrade to a Concept 2? Huh. It's a very personal decision. Um, Derek, water rowers are so good machines. They just don't have the same level of connectivity as Concept 2 does and global audience. So if you like you know, competing and following along with others, then it's gonna be a little bit harder on a water rower, but now that you have Ergata, you could upgrade your monitor to an Ergata monitor and uh, you'd have some connectivity there. So, pretty impressed by this channel. Now order my Concept2 Model D. We'll come December 2nd. Impatiently waiting for it. it Cost 1.8K here in Kazakhstan. Next will be the biker. That is not cheap in Kazakhstan. Concept2 rower is definitely good. More expensive as they move around. What damper setting are you using? Just got my row this week. I'm at a mid five right now, which I think is around a 130. Man, new item on the bucket list to actually row in a real boat. It's pretty epic, Luan. It's like, I gotta equate it though. Learning to row in a rower is like learning to ride. A, uh, a four-wheeler. You get how the pedals work and you learn how to sit on it, and how to steer, but then going to learn to roll in the water is like learning how to ride a unicycle. <laughs> it becomes infinitely more complicated even though the systems are essentially the same. A lot more involvement. Jeff Young, great channel. Love the workouts. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. MP, you just motivated me for today. Motivated me. Just did a quick workout and put in 500 meters before dinner. That's as good as a donation, MP. I love that. You're putting money in the bank for your own health. <clears throat> Bill Livingston says yes, upgrade to a Concept 2. Concept 2 owners will always say yes, upgrade to a Concept 2. <laughs> Sophie, I was talking about both being the roar machine and on the actual water when it came to your average speed and time. Oh, it's so different though, Sophie. And it depends on the distance you choose. It depends on the workout intention. There's just a lot to it. A couple more minutes before my next rest break. Uh, Luann, luckily I know how to swim. <laughs> yeah, you gotta learn how to flip the boat then too. Bill, so what are you saying? If I can ride a unicycle, I should be okay? On the water, sweet, yeah. Guaranteed, no problems at all. <laughs> Hono, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it, Jono. Been doing a th 10, 10,000, I can't tell. 10,000 or 100,000 calorie challenge this month. Channel's been a huge help. Happy to hear it. Lu and Tay, hi from South Korea. Love it. What's up, South Korea? Welcome to the chat. So guys, just a reminder. Number one, I'm doing 100 minutes to celebrate us breaking 100,000 subscribers. Number two, this is turning into a donation row. So anybody who donates through Super Chat, I will donate, I will take all that money and donate it directly to a most beautiful thing and their cause, which I believe is connected to the Pocock Foundation. So whatever you give will be donated on behalf of Dark Horse and this row, an unofficial, <laughs> an unofficial uh, fundraising row. Yeah. Derek Duras. Thanks, Shane. Are you saying I can get a better monitor for my water rower? Now I'm intrigued. Yes, you can. It's called Regatta. Uh, I have an affiliate link, so if you wanted to use it, it won't cost you anymore, and we would get a we would get a cut of it. 
um, you can send an email to support at darkhorserunning.com and I'll send you a link to it. Or you can just go find Ergata and you can retrofit water rowers now with their monitors. It's a 17 and a half inch monitor. I'm testing him right now. Got a water rower right over here, you can't see it, but. Just hit my first sub 632K. Thank you so much for the motivation, man. You're welcome, Simon, that's amazing. Sub 630 is blazing fast. You should be proud of that. Split, I'm at a 201.0 right now. Each time I stop it, uh, slows my split significantly. Speaking of which, I'm coming up on my next one. Iron Mannix, Shane, howdy, you just finished a 12K row. Ah, fancy that Iron Mannix, I just passed 12K. Good gift idea for my son and his water row. There you go, Luan, that's perfect. Great to see you live, Iron Mannix, thanks. Derek Duros. Just donated 20 to the most beautiful thing and their connection with the Pocock Foundation. Okay, I'm gonna stop, restart my camera. Again, I'm doing this, guys, because my camera overheats. Uh -oh. ah. so, so. so my camera overheats and I have to... Huh. I have to stop it before it hits the 30 minute mark. Otherwise, it, uh, it'll just stop recording and turn off on me. So, here we go. Oh man, stopping and restarting is not, oh, I said I would hydrate. Hydration is important, guys. Yeah. I'm doing it in a timely manner. It's even harder. Here's my squish pack of fruit. Mmm. Yeah. There we go. I feel like the, uh... oh man. I feel like the sugariness of that without taking a sip of water, is gonna bite me in the butt in a little bit. But, have no fear, here we are. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, getting back up to speed. Derek, Duras, $20 donation or $19.99, thank you so much. Emily Hops, Monat Market partner, why is the 2K such an important distance for rowers? That's a great question, Emily. There's a fun background to that. So, rowing back in the day, pre-World War II, there was no uniform distance. There were, there were courses that were like 1,300 meters. There were courses that were 2,500, 3,000 meters because that was the distance of water they had. So, there was no uniform. Um, the race was, Race length was determined based off of where in the world you were to row. And then around, I think it was shortly after World War II, the governing body for rowing decided, you know what, we want this thing to grow. We should probably try to standardize. There was a, one specific course in France, I'm forgetting the name of it, and that course had 2,000 meters, and uh, it was it was that course that they settled on as the standard distance. So, if a body of water had less than that, it was no longer a racing course. Anybody over, they could shorten, and uh, that became the length. It still didn't take full global hold though until Concept Two really came along and started creating indoor races. And it was when those indoor races really started that the 2K became solidified. Because all of a sudden there was 
one distance that you would race for. And it was 2,000 meters, that's what they chose. And so, um, both post-World War II and global, global rowing as a global entity, as well as Concept 2, both lent to the 2K's popularity. Bill Livingston, did you see the strongman Brian Shaw in the Concept 2? 100 meters in 12.8 seconds. Are you talking about his, uh, his skier, Geppert, or a rower? But yes, I've seen Brian Shaw on the rower. It's crazy. Luann, tell us about the cause you're rowing for today. Well, <laughs> Luann, funny story. I wasn't really planning to row for a cause. I was rowing to celebrate us passing um, 100,000 subscribers here on YouTube. That's why I chose 100 minutes. Uh, but somebody donated and I thought, you know what? I don't, like, we make money from YouTube. What you guys give us today would be really awesome to donate as a collective whole. So whoever donates today, I will take that afterwards, put it into one lump sum, and we will donate it to, um, so there's a book that was written called A Most Beautiful Thing. It came out this year. Actually, the book may have come out last year, something like that. But the documentary came out this year. Uh, and it's about the first all African American rowing team, at least as far as high school goes, in the country. Uh, I believe in Chicago. And so, whatever you guys donate today is gonna go to their chosen cause, which I believe somebody noted earlier, they are partnering with um, the Pocock Foundation. Pocock is a boat manufacturer, famous boat manufacturer, that used to build for uh, out of the Washington boathouse. And they do a lot of good. They have learn to row programs that they put into high schools um, where you apply for a grant. They'll give you 20 rowers. They'll teach you how to teach it and then they'll put it into school PE systems. Um, I was part of an organization here in San Diego that applied for that grant and got it. And we were able to put it into the school system in South County of San Diego, which is one of the most underserved communities in San Diego, which is a pretty well-off community, except for South Bay. So we put it into that system. So, Pocock does pretty awesome things and I believe they're working together, so that's what I'm rowing for now. Number one, to celebrate 100,000 subscribers. Number two, to give to the most beautiful thing and the Pocock Foundation and what it is that they're doing together. Woo! <laughs> Cordy, can you make your donations available through donation alerts? Because I'm unable to donate any other way from my region. Ah, um, I don't have that set up. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and it's just, today's impromptu. So, I wish I had more to say on that. But right now I can't. Um, there's the same speed from the start. It's close. Coming out 201, 202. Not two minute. Where you at in San Diego? I'll come visit. My brain works. I don't like to give out my actual location. I'm in San Diego. I have a Garmin Phoenix 6. Any widgets you recommend for rowing? Or just standard indoor rowing workout? Yeah, there's a 5X Plus. Derek, uh, I haven't found it to be very useful for rowing, honestly. But man, that is a great cause and an illustration of the type of heart you yeah, have. Thank you. I appreciate that, Luann, but I would say it's more a reflection of you guys and choosing to give while watching me exercise. <laughs> you guys are definitely the ones earning the respect here. What's my stroke rate? 22. 
What do you know now from Bill? What do you know now that you wish you knew when you started rowing? And same question for you two. Ooh, Bill, in with the deep question. Okay, rowing. So, I, my coach in college um, was, let's say mediocre to slightly less than. He wasn't a leader, um, and I'm not trying to dog on him, that's not where I'm going with this, but basically our path to success was that we as a, a small, small team of both small numbers and generally smaller than the average rower, um, we came together as a team and determined our own training plans because we wanted to go to the national championships and our coach wasn't pushing us as we needed to get there. Um, so we kind of mutinied and basically said, if you don't make our programs harder to help us succeed, we all have to quit and row club for the school year. And um, what I'm getting at, again, is that I wish I had known earlier in our career that we had it in us to step up, even though we may not have had the, the support, the coaching that we wanted, we could have done it on our own earlier. And I think we would have seen even more success had we sought that out. So what do I know now? It's standing up for myself. It's saying, you know, I think that I can do more than what I'm getting credit for. And <clears throat> we, um, we did that with ourselves. And that's a big part of where the Dark Horse name comes from is because I've lived that, you guys. We're, nobody believed in us. We were a small, very small private school with no history of rowing that we, we're smaller in stature and numbers than every school around us. Our school had never gone to the national championships. Our school had never beat Orange Coast College, which was uh, kind of a West Coast, smaller powerhouse. And um, we believed that we could do more. So we did it. And that taught me a lot. And that's a big message that I try to relay. So. And then on the work YouTube side, man, <laughs> in all honesty, like just have fun, make what sounds fun and constantly listen to you guys, the subscribers, because you guys are a huge part of the material I put out. I listen, I read the comments. Even if I don't respond, I'm at least looking to see what you guys need, what you want. And it goes a long ways towards what you get to see. So, there you go. Uh, Mary, later, keep up the good work, leaving. Mary, appreciate you coming. See you around. Lucas Osborne, how do you gain weight while rowing? You eat like it's your job and then some. <laughs> I was 170 pounds when I was a rower. The statue you see now, I'm 190. And I am, I love 190 pounds. I was 20 pounds lighter as a rower. I couldn't put weight on, no matter how bad I tried, but the difference was I didn't do strength work. So number one, you gotta do strength work. You need to live under a heavy barbell a lot, pick up heavy things constantly, and put in so many calories that it's uncomfortable if you're naturally skinny. So, how long until you got your form down? Never. I'm still working on it, but varying works. Uh, what was your first 2K like, slash time? Oh man, my first? I don't know. I feel like sub seven, my first one, but I don't remember my first one. I remember my first 6K. And that was devastating. <laughs> Not fun. 
at all. But uh, that was my first that I remember. I have a Vi Vivo Active 3, and after an hour, oh, it says I've completed 12 strokes. <laughs> yeah, things like that. You can't always depend on them. Yep, fans are great. Fanatic or not, keep it up. Thanks, David. Dan Downing, that's gold. I'm learning that right now in the method. Exactly, Dan. Dan, you're an awesome dude. I love how heady you are. I love that you're always processing and learning. Did you ever try over grip band on the handle? No, I don't think so, Sebi. Home gym fitness. Got into rowing because of you. Bought a rowing machine and I follow your channel. Great work. I like the live workouts. Keep them coming. Home gym fitness. You got it. Derek Duras, do you have a Spotify playlist for rowing or favorite songs? I do. DH Crew Life Archive. Look it up. All separate words. DH one word. Crew Life Archive. Some of my favorite songs. Luann, as I watch this, I've been watching your hand grip, so I get it now. Oh, awesome. Sometimes it just takes a little, uh, seeing it over and over, right? I hate trying to stay sub 165, but weight class. Yeah. My lightest I got down to was 163, Simon. Um, I was not happy. My body didn't like it. I was emaciated from the waist up. Wow. Is that a seat pad on top of your rower? Squealer it is. It's the Hornet Water Sports super thick pad. Since I'm putting in 24K today, I figured, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do it today. A lot of us in the special operations community are avid rowers and Concept 2 users from John Smith. I've showed a few of your, I've showed a few your channel, so I don't have to constantly critique guys in my unit. <laughs> Isn't it funny, once you learn what you're looking for, you can't unsee it. You're just like, oh, cringe, let me help you. <laughs> but nobody, here's the, here's the trick, you guys. Nobody wants to learn from their friends or family. Nobody. The easier way, John, if you, as you found out, is just send them a link. <laughs> it's so much easier than trying to do it yourself. Oh, that's the big kahuna, it is. Big kahuna. Hi from Russian and taxes. I just started following. Welcome. Derek, perfect, thanks. Can always use one more playlist. And Derek, there are like 100 plus songs in there. You'll never run out. Edward, thank you for your channel. Put on some Viking music, your videos, and I go to work. Excellent hustle, sir. Thank you, appreciate that. Richard, great channel, an awesome program at Dark Horse Run. Thank you so much. Uh, Y'all are amazing. You guys are literally the only reason, those of you in the comments right now are the only reason that I'm still going. <clears throat> Whew. My stroke rate has come down to a 20, which is pretty natural for me as I get tired. Stroke rate drops. See if I can lift it a little bit. Ten minutes until my next rest. We're still here. MB appreciates you. Thank you for this response. Motivating me to do my best. I began from CrossFit two years ago. And now going to include rowing in my workout schedule. Love it. That's awesome. Keep that posture. I'm working on it, Derek. An hour and 10 minutes in, and my back is getting a little tired. 
Sugar crash. Yeah, absolutely. I always have problems with sweat on the handle, over grip, band helps. Oh, you know what's better though? Stop it before it starts. Put sweat bands on your forearms. Hello from the UK. Been following you to get started rowing again. Thank you. You've been and our brilliant teacher. Thank you. Kathy King, thank you for your channel. Tar Heels, any tips how I can sync my Versa heart rate with your data? Oh, I am so sorry, I have no tips on that. I use very little tech, you guys. Very little tech. Like a surprisingly low amount when I can help it. You ever break a rib from rowing too much? Great question, Christopher, because that is an injury that happens in rowing. No, I have not. Um, I credit a lot of that to the fact that I always included a lot of strength training in my rowing, unlike a lot of traditional rowing programs. And so I always had relatively strong serratus anterior uh, versus not, because in rowing all you do is pull. So if you don't include a strong enough pull program, sorry, a strong enough push program, or you don't pick up heavy loads, that serratus doesn't ever learn to stabilize the ribs, therefore we end up with rib stress fractures. So no, I never have, thankfully. Eight weeks post-op from total knee replacement, ready to get started. Love it, Kathy. And you could even be using the rower right now, putting your recovering leg on a slider, furniture slider. If you have hard floors, put it on a towel put it on a skateboard, and you can row one-legged. Lots of people do that when recovery. Jonas, wow, 100K. Hope even more people will find your awesome channel. Much love from Germany. Germany. Thanks, Jonas. David, I just finished my advanced routine, and I'm dead. Thanks for everything, keep going. Love it, David. Does that mean you did an advanced workout with me in the time that I have been rowing and I'm still here? <laughs> if so, that's awesome. Jim Hunt, 6,800, 28, 48. Yeah, me. Thank you for all the inspiration and encouragement. Derek, I'm getting calluses on my butt, on my hands after rowing. Is that typical? Or am I pulling too hard? Very, very typical. Here. That means you are rowing, Derek. So, I'm a 6,800, 29.59. Day 19 in that home stretch, huh? Tar Heels, today my morning started with your program for beginners. Thank you for the great motivation you put in your each video. You're welcome, Tar Heels. I'm always trying to think about you guys keeping you at the forefront of my mind. <clears throat> you guys, inside 30 minutes, y'all are keeping me alive here. I definitely am ready for a water break. And yes, I am sugar crashing right now. I'm feeling it, I'm starting to get zony. The sun's starting to go down here, which isn't helping. As Justin Farina said at the beginning, I'll be thinking about you as I eat dinner. <laughs> He's probably done with dinner by now. MV, I have calluses and I lost an inch off my natural waist. That's amazing. Good job, MV. Luann, what TH membership do you recommend for newbies? Luann, the crew, all the way. Cruise $19 a month. It doesn't get any better than that. And you get Launch Your Rowing, which is our Learn to Row program inside of it. So the, the most important part about the crew is the community. So you can get coaching, you join everybody else who's just there to cheer each other on. It is by no means a performance group. So that's the huge advantage. It's just that you get to be around a whole bunch of like-minded individuals 
just trying to make themselves better at life. It's not even about the rowing, really. Bathroom buddy, congrats, mate. Long time subscriber, and I've learned so much from you. Have any tips on training for a sub three, 1K, round through it now, and if promise, big bad reg, you'll do it before Christmas. <laughs> Practice your aerobic piece. Get plenty of meters under your belt. Practice your force application. Work on getting your watts up. But it's surprisingly aerobic for a 1K. Io, been following your workouts for almost two months. Lost almost 20 pounds, thanks a lot. Io, that's incredible, congrats on that. Everybody, give Io a big round of applause there. Kathy King, how long have I been doing videos? Ooh, since April 2016 was the first YouTube video I put out. <clears throat> Alan Art, love your channel. Thanks for the great rower content. You're very welcome. Linda Spilka, next milestone. With YouTube, you should give everyone a heads up ahead of time and have us row with you the whole way. Wouldn't that be awesome? I will have to think more ahead of time next time. <clears throat> um, 6,800 for the tradition workout. 60 years old with two hard stints. Thank you for the inspiration. That's amazing, Mario. Congrats. Way to be on it. Luann, cool. Just watching you know I'm more excited about getting my rower. Didn't think that was possible. <laughs> I love that I'm helping you along with that. Got a Concept2 rower. This is Jenny. Because of your videos, got it in September, and today I did 7,000. Thanks for inspiring me to be a fitter person. It was worth the wait. Jenny, that's it. It's just about living a fit, healthy lifestyle, right? That's what it's for. It's not about the rowing, guys. It's about being your best version of yourself and doing it for you. Take that personal responsibility. All of you have done that, it's amazing. You guys, I'm so proud of all of you. Oh, I wanna cry. Maybe it's because of the lack of energy in my system, but I'm getting emotional. <laughs> that first video in 2016, April 2016, I never thought that it would even be possible for 100,000 people to wanna learn from me. You guys are seriously making my life. Thank you. I just hope that I can share tidbits here and there. Erica, just keep pushing. Well, that was an unplanned 7K. I'll keep cheering, getting off the erg now. Erica, I miss you. Erica, another member of the method, guys. You're awesome, coach. Thank you, Erica. You're awesome, coach. Now that you are a coach. Simon, today's supposed to be a rest day, but I just need to erg. Give me my time or distance and I'll go for it. <laughs> Simon, because it's a rest day, just give it like 3K, 2K, 1K at steady state pace with just enough rest to collect yourself. On a serious note, Shane, from Lisa. Hey, Lisa! I appreciate you helping this old lady with getting better. Lisa, I appreciate you. Dan, way to go, Mario. Seth, did I shave my legs? No. I'm Native American, I'm naturally not very hairy. <clears throat> Luann, don't cry until you rehydrate. <laughs> I can't afford to lose it. Derek, should have said this first, but when I started rowing earlier this year, I had no idea what I was doing. Thanks to your excellent videos. I've learned so much and dropped 15 pounds. Thank you, Shane. Derek, thank you. Io, amazing Mario Cruz. David, thank you. Ready for my next rest here. Whew. I am going to hydrate. Okay, there's that rest. That's a 28 minute cycle. Ooh. No hamstrings, guys. No hamstrings. Here we go. I'm gonna recharge. Plugging my phone here. And one of my AirPods. Oh, 
the 20 minutes left to go guys. I need some water and I'm back at it. Oh. <clears throat> My dog has come to join. Hi Bites. Hi. Here we go. And we're off again. Oh no, I forgot to put my camera up. Hold on. E. I'm gonna flip my screen up. So I can make sure everything's still functioning. Woo! You guys, Squealer, here's to a most beautiful 24K row. Thanks, Squealer. Ooh. Um, don't cry. <laughs> Seth, again, no, I don't. Pretty naturally hairless. Um, Ryan, Ryan Estrada, do you have skier workouts on the crew? We do. Yep, we have a program that actually gives you both skier, biker, and rower workouts. Lots of them, so there's no, uh, no shortage for you there. I'll make you laugh. I was dreaming about rowing. Realized I wasn't bending correctly at the hip. <laughs> I can imagine that. Having a dream, you're like, why can't my hips fold? <laughs> Loved rowing in the gym. Just ordered my own machine for home. So excited. Love it. Simon, home stretch now. That's exactly right. Sebi. What drag factor are you going? Middle of a five. David, getting my first Apple Watch tomorrow, Series 6, business and fitness in 21, 2021. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta get my legs back under me. Spooler, thank you for your donation. $24 going to a most beautiful thing. Very much appreciated. <clears throat> Into that home stretch, guys. Can anybody just report Seth there for me? I don't have the hands to do it. Matthew, man, you are crazy. Sometimes you gotta be. Hi, how tall am I? 6'3. Sorry on the Concept 2 leaderboard for the Fall Team Challenge. Will. Thanks, Will. A lot of people register with the team. It's pretty awesome. I really cannot take a lot of credit for that. Way to work it, coach. <laughs> Appreciate it, Steven. A little late, but I will now saddle up and do my remember daily with you. 6,800 meters in question. Zero drop shoes or three to four mil. Rock on. I've come to appreciate a like four mil drop shoe. That's what these are right now, I think. Innovates. So I like a little drop. I'm not a big fan of zero anymore. Sigh. Can we have strength workouts with dumbbell or kettlebell? I'd like to include strength and mobility in row sessions 100%. Um, we're actually building a new program for just that that you'll be able to join in with uh, through Dark Horse and our programs. So, <clears throat> thanks for reporting, Seth, everybody. Appreciate it. Together we can do anything. <laughs> Keep trolls off of our comment channel. Ooh, 
Ui! Trying to really smooth out my catch here. With that last rest, I started to dip below 24K. So I'm really trying to push it back up so that we can make sure to be north of it by the time we're done. How can I donate IO? You're gonna use Super Chat. It's the little like dollar sign button in the comment section. And you can use the little slider bar to donate as you like. All going to a most beautiful thing in their association, I think, with the Pocock Foundation. Dan, I've never asked if you have a shoe preference for rowing. Yes, I love Innovates. Um, any low profile shoe though, just not running shoes, you know, like a fitness trainer, Nike Metcons or Reebok, whatever they are, forget. My first live Phoenix Rising, appreciated. What resistance setting? Mid five. Hit the dollar sign at the right. There you go, MV. Sai, thank you so much. And you're all the best. Love to see you roll live. <laughs> Good. Happy to hear it. Luann, short people have any issues with the concept? No. Short people can still be good rowers. Machine doesn't matter. <clears throat> Bill, is there a favorite rowing movie you watch and always makes you want to row? Good question. Um, yes, and I'm blanking on the name of it. It was a documentary of the Cal Bears. They ran like a four year sweep of the national championships. It was a documentary. All for one. His name of it, all for one. Oh, man, that used to get us fired up. We would watch that before every race as a team. All for one. Dude, you're a legend. And uh, just keep doing what you're doing, mate. Thanks, bathroom buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you for the donation. Five pounds. You're the best. Way to add to that fund. Thank you, Sebi. AirPods are getting dangerously low to quitting. Question is, do they have 12 and a half minutes left? Or can I switch it fast enough that I don't, oh. There it went. Come on, come on, AirPod, my finger's too slippery. Ah. You guys might be on phone audio now, I don't know. We not, might, might, might not be ending this ideally. AirPods only last so long. Luan, so what did you do in the Navy? I wanna keep you talking. I wasn't in the Navy, I was reading somebody else's comment. <laughs> I never joined the Navy, I was never in the military. MV, $24. Thank you so much for the donation. You'll reach out once you lose 24 pounds, I love that. How amazing. Sai, donate 1999. Thank you so much. You are amazing. You're good. AirPod kicked in. Oh, whew. thanks, Dan. <laughs> Getting an error message when I try to donate. That's weird, Io. But thank you for the effort. Either way. Phoenix Rising. We started this 100 minute challenge. I came here to research. Rowing is an option. Well, <laughs> you get to watch me. I'm in a fishbowl right now. Phoenix Rising, read the comments. I think that's good research for you to make a decision. Look at the motivation of this community. It really helps to sell rowing because you realize it's not really about the rowing, it's about the people.
Can anybody remind me what a half marathon distance is? I forget right now. My brain's not functioning. Twenty-three point one. That sounds right-ish. James, twenty dollars. Thank you. You inspire, James. Thirteen point one, Lewin. Thank you, guys. Oh no, no, half marathon on the rower. Sorry, that's what I meant. Half marathon on the rower. How many? Twenty-one k. Okay. Well, we're past it at this point. It's like 21 and change, right? 21,975. Oh, but we're almost there then. We're doing it, guys. My brain is bonking, but my body is pushing because of you. Starting to get quiet to focus. Don't mind me. Please hang out till the end. I have eight minutes, 45 seconds to go, you guys. I need all this energy to just put it right into the rowing. I will come back to you as soon as it's done, I promise. Six minutes to go. <clears throat> you can do anything for six minutes, guys.
right, sweetie. That's beautiful. Four minutes left, guys. Two minutes. One minute. Thirty seconds. Fifteen. Ten. Three, two, one. That's a hundred minutes of rowing. <laughs> there are so many congratulations. I don't know what to say. Mostly because I have absolutely no energy left. A hundred minutes. So according to my monitor, I pulled an average of 204.4 on the split. Every stop always hurts your split. Total meters, 24,112. Stroke rate averaged, I think 22. Let me back out. Oh, apparently I averaged a 20. Lower than I thought, 204.4. Oh, I'm gonna sleep so well tonight. I just wanna make one more push, guys, if you didn't and you enjoyed. 
Number one, thank you. Huge thank you for 100,000 subscribers. This is a momentous occasion. I don't usually celebrate milestones. That's totally, that's the honest truth. I usually just kind of like quietly go through them. Um, but this one actually feels really important because this is, you know, we're on basically four and a half years now of, uh, of this channel and I've learned a lot. I'm always trying to listen to you guys, always trying to make what I think people are going to enjoy and what I enjoy making. This one will definitely go down in history as one of the more epic workouts. This shirt is just pure wet right now. There's not a dry spot on it. And this will get published. Don't worry, this will come as a workout. So if you ever want to do that 100, meter, 100 minutes, uh, feel free to come join. I also want to make a plea again, <clears throat> but if you guys would consider donating, this turned into an impromptu um, fundraising row. I'm going to give all of the money to a most beautiful thing and their cause, which somebody mentioned is the Pocock Foundation. So their linkage together. I know the Pocock Foundation, they're a great name in the rowing world and they're helping to bring rowing to underserved youth. And that is um, very important to me. What about cool down? Yes, I have no, I have nothing left. My, my back is just so smoked. I guess I could row lightly. Great to celebrate 100K subs with you this way. Nice work, thank you. Um, oh man, my, my hamstrings are just shot. I feel like I burn calories just watching. Congratulations, thank you. Phoenix Rising, in the words of my son, Ryan Estrada, well done. Thank you. Um, oh yeah, I can't, I can't. Stretching is gonna be my cool down and I will do it after I sign off here. Um, guys, honestly, thank you. And if this, if you're watching this in the video, hit that subscribe button and the like button next to it so you get alerted when I do ridiculous stuff like this and so that you can actually learn about the machine and join our amazing community. And that's all I have to say about that. Uh, guys, thank you for tuning in on live. Again, totally impromptu, but uh, man, I just appreciate you all so much. You guys got me through this. Again, you are the reason that I get to live the life that I want to live is because of each of you. Mwah. I love you all and I mean that. I don't say that lightly. Now, oh, to go. Oh, reclaim my life. <laughs>